Greetings again. Thanks for joining us here at Admiral D's in beautiful White Bear Lake. This is the Rush Club powered by your boat club with 70 boats on seven gorgeous lakes. We've got an awesome show for you this week, just packed full of adrenaline. So be sure you sit back and enjoy the rush. Three, two, one, go. Today we are here at the ultimate granddaddy of Lumberjack Sports, the World Lumberjack Championship here in Haywood, Wisconsin, and I am standing next to an ultimate champion, Nancy Zaliski. Tell me, Nancy, give us a history or geological timeline of where you are coming from and how you got here. Um, I actually grew up here in Hayward, so this is my hometown, so there's a bit of pressure on it from there, but I didn't start this sport until I was 30 years old, which is quite late for a lot of people, and uh, just decided, you know, it, it looked really cool, I, I should try this. Mike Sullivan, who's my Jack and Jill partner, actually got me set up to saw. The first time we made a cut was, of course, on live TV. So that was quite a bit of stress and pressure there, but I've had a good time. So through the years, the last 13 years that I've been doing this, just kind of learned one event after another. And we started with the Jack and Jill and learned how to single buck and now I've learned how to underhand chop. So you kind of refine them all. Uh, the more you can practice them, and I spend that time in my backyard. You know, all summer we train outside. There's nothing you can do in a gym that prepares you for an event like cutting the blocks outside. Good. They cut it on 16 inches of latest thin white pine. It's the old misery whip. Let's see how these ladies do them. What kind of titles do you hold? I actually hold world records here for both the single buck and the underhand chop. We're hoping that the wood's good enough this weekend that maybe Mike and I can pick up the world record for the Jack and Jill. But um, I've broken quite a few records over the years. Just, you know, I'm strong enough that I don't have to nearly cut as fast as some other people maybe because I've got the strength to do it so it's been quite an illustrious career as we've gone on. What's your favorite part about the competition? You know I think a lot of it is strength and I've been strong my whole life so to me that's probably what makes this easier to learn but I've also had a lot of support from from Mike, from Dave Jewett, from all my fellow competitors as things go along you know you may have a bad day and Someone's there to say, oh, you know what, you're just doing this wrong. You just got to fix this, and it turns things around for you. So the camaraderie and the people that you meet, you know, I've met a, a bunch of wonderful people over in Australia and New Zealand, and, and we travel back and forth now to see each other, and you, we've kept up these friendships, so it's been pretty cool. So when you're not at competitions, what do you do on a regular basis? Actually, I'm a chemist. Okay. So I used to work in a lab, and now I work behind a desk doing a lot of coordination. And in the winter, I'm a downhill ski instructor. So. This is kind of my summer sport, and in the winter I teach skiing to kids. So we have a lot of fun. So there's always something going on between trying to get to the gym and trying to chop and saw and trying to ski. Well, moving forward, where do you see yourself in the future of Lumberjack? You know, this sport is a sport that has a lot longer future than I ever imagined when I got into it. I'm going to be competing against gals this weekend that are almost 60 years old, and they're still top end, they're still top four. So I really see myself just trying to get better and better at the sport, just trying to stay on that top end, and also promote the sport, to get these youngsters in so that this sport has a future. Um, if we don't bring the young kids in and keep mentoring these kids, we don't have a future in the sport. I'm standing here with Lindsay Down. Lindsay Down is an underhand chopper. Now, Lindsay, tell us what that is. So basically, underhand chopping is where you're standing on a log that is placed horizontally in a stand and you're chopping between your legs. So you're going to chop until you reach the center and the front and then you turn around and you chop the other half. And then whoever comes off first in the fastest amount of time wins. What do you do to prepare or what kind of equipment do you use? Well, you know, you, you, a lot of people, uh, they'll weight train or they'll do some cardio and that's fine, but wood chopping is completely different than going out and running a mile. I mean, to each their own, like you can go out and run a mile in a great time, but you come in and chop a block, it's, you're going to be winded. So a lot of people have their own training facilities. For me, I, my backyard, it's where I do my training. I, um, I have a sawing stand, I have a chopping stand, so I go up there and I just practice like I'm at a show. And I just try and fix my stroke, I try and fix my, my cut, my hits, and that's just pretty much you got to train to be able to come and compete. Would you consider us a dangerous sport? Yeah, I think it can be. Um, you know, everyone has, you know, they wear the protective gear, they have chain mail on their feet, um, but you know, accidents happen. Sometimes you're, you're cutting and then, you know, you can glance off and you can hit your foot. You know, some people 
um, they, they've, they've hit their foot and their shin and, you know, it, and sawing sometimes when you make a stroke sometimes you, you stick and then that saw comes back at you and you can make cuts on your arm which I have some nice battle, battle wounds in my arm just from sawing. How long have you been in this sport? Well I've actually been competing for about 10 years. I started when I was 14. Um, I, I was a little girl, at, my dad would travel and he competed and I was always brought around to these shows. Um, you know, when I was about 14 my dad would be like, Lindsay let's try this. And I'm like, no, Dad, that's embarrassing. They're gonna call me Paul Bunyan and you know make jokes and but I but he kind of made me do it and I'm really glad he did because I ended up falling in love with it. And so I'm, I'm 25 now and I'm I'm going strong and I'm trying to trying to get better every day. Well, there you have it, the ultimate lumber Jill. Thank you, Lindsay, for being here with us. Good luck the rest of the way, and we will see you next time. You can learn more about us at The Rush Club by visiting our website. It's therushclub.com. We'll share upcoming events, our bios, and fun little facts about us. Hey, if you have a story suggestion, it's all at our fingertips, so let us know. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there too. Once again, we're at therushclub.com. What a rush. We're getting it done in a man's world, and we're loving it. It's ahead on The Rush Club. There's no place you'd rather be than here. Your Boat Club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with Your Boat Club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your Boat Club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning and boat insurance. Your Boat Club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at Your Boat Club. Pro Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you, and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. New or used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, we'll capture your passion, and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. Get the party started, dial it. Pit bull together with Bud Light, here we go. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. Newer used Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a Metro and Northern Lake location. Family owned Minnesota Inboard is probably the Midwest's number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits. Soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. My name is Andy and I'm down here on the beautiful Mississippi River right outside of Minneapolis and I'm here with Amy Norquist, a member of the Twin Cities River Rats show team. Tell me Amy, how'd you get into the sport? Uh, I would say back in 99 I had a friend that knew that I loved water skiing. I started skiing when I was seven and as soon as she found out that I was a water skier she invited me to come come down and see if I would enjoy skiing with the team. The stag is double stag. Well, tell me a little bit about the River Rats. The River Rats started off in 1979. They were a part of the University of Minnesota and 
since 1979 through, I would say, 95. They skied in um, different areas throughout Minnesota. And then in 95, they were introduced to the Mississippi River right down here in Northeast. So 96, we made this our home site further down off of Broadway. And in about 2005, the site right here actually became our permanent home site. Well, Amy, how long, how long have you been a part of the team? I have been on the team since 99. Wow. The time has flown by. It's gone by so incredibly fast. Seeing people that were teeny tiny now driving, and it's crazy watching people grow up so fast. So I understand you met a very special person on the oh, River Rats team. I did. Um, back in, I think we both joined around 99. My goal was to learn how to barefoot, and I knew this guy um, knew how to barefoot and I knew he'd be the perfect one to teach me how to barefoot. So um, it definitely connected us both to this day. I love barefooting. I love having him in the boat and teaching me how to barefoot and it's been a blast. That's great. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Describe the show for me a little bit. Well, um, every year we have a theme. This year it's called Fantasy Island. We have pyramids, uh, barefooters will usually open the show. We have pyramids that are built um, three tiers, four tiers high. We have jumping. We have girls that go out and um, ski on a single ski and do arm and leg movements on the water and come in and dance on shore. We also have guys and girls that go all the way around the boat, frontwards and backwards. Um, we have guys that will jump out of both skis and land on their feet and barefoot away. So a huge variety of acts to um, come try out. Is this show popular nationwide or is this more of a Minnesota thing? You know, we just had a Midwest Regional Tournament and we have teams from Wisconsin and Iowa and we all compete together. So there's a few teams from Minnesota. Um, so basically just, uh, there's teams all over, but we're used to the teams that are close by. This year there's actually a world tournament in mid-September that people are coming from all over the world to ski. Oh, that's incredible. Yes. How many shows do you do a year? Um, quite a few. We are <laughs> here at the beginning of June. Our first show is usually the first Thursday in June, and we ski every Thursday night throughout um, the whole summer until the end of August. We also have four shows over Aquatennial weekend. We have our regional tournament and also some away shows that we do throughout the year. So we stay pretty busy. Well, thank you so much, Amy, for having us out tonight. I know we're going to have a blast um, and have fun tonight. Thank you. This is The Rush Club. Here's some of the events and shows that we're keeping an eye on at The Rush Club. Up next, we're burning asphalt, only here on the Rush Club. All right, it's 5.30 a.m. We got a car, a couple cameras, gonna go have some fun. I can get closer. Here's the true test. Chris, let's see what you got. <laughs> NOS, high performance energy. Drink NOS, fuel victory. That was a blast. I'm done. I'm Alex. Welcome to Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Here at Bill's, we're all about safety. Basic to advanced handgun training to personal protection and home defense. Bill's leads the novice to enthusiast in hunting, sport, or range shooting. Bill's Gun Shop offers a combined 120 years of instructor experience and the Midwest's top showroom and gunsmith guidance. Thousands of products, an expert sales team, and two convenient metro locations. And coming soon to Hudson, you'll find it at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. Newer used Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a metro and northern lake location. Family-owned Minnesota Inboard is probably the Midwest's number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits. Soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. There's no place you'd rather be than here. Your boat club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with your boat club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your boat club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, 
fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning, and boat insurance. Your boat club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at Your Boat Club. This is Jenny, and I'm up at Pro Power Sports and Marine with Todd Amar. Nice to see you, Todd. Nice to meet you as well. And we're just taking a look around here and looking at some of the equipment. What exactly would you describe Power Sports as? Pro Power Sports and Marine is a comprehensive one-stop destination for all your outdoor needs. Uh, and we sell anything that basically has an engine and fuels your outdoor passion for whatever recreational activity you're into. So you have quite the selection here. Um, what would you say your biggest sellers are? Um, right now, personal watercraft is hot because of the time of year, uh, but also we have uh, spider uh, three-wheeled roadsters that are really, really hot. It's a unique vehicle in the segment. It's an uh, on-road on uh, motorcycle with two wheels in the front and one in the rear. Real safe vehicle, and uh, people are really, uh, really starting to enjoy that vehicle. Do you want to show me a little bit about your CD selection? Well, sure. This is the uh, this is the biggest, baddest uh, two-seater recreational watercraft on the market. It's uh, RXPX, new for this year, new hull, 260 horsepower, supercharged and intercooled. It's basically for the enthusiast. It's a rocket ship on the water. Nice. So by biggest and baddest, you mean fastest? Like fastest. And then this one we have behind us. This one would be more family friendly. Yep. That's the uh, that's the recreational segment. That's a, that's a powerful machine, but it's also got a suspension in it, just like a, a motorcycle. It's a, it's got a suspension. It's a suspended hull, and it basically takes the chop out of the waves, and it's a real comfortable all-day cruiser. Yeah, it's really classy looking. Yeah, I like sharp it. Looking. All right, Todd, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the four wheelers? Well, this one here that we're looking at is a, is a new Outlander. It's a new G2 chassis. It's new from the ground up. It's a thousand cc. It's uh, it's one of the biggest and baddest uh, ATVs uh, on the planet. Uh, it's a big machine, but hop up on it and see if you enjoy it. Yeah, it is pretty big, and I'm not that big, so. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can handle that? I think I can handle it. <laughs> This looks like a lot of fun. Okay, Todd, I just want to give you a big thank you for showing us your selection. You have an amazing store here. And if you'd like some more information, you can go to propoweronline.com. If you're getting out on the boat, here's a Rush Club look at lake water temperatures, brought to us by Minnesota Inboard. Ahead, we're outdoors and making no excuses for it. It's next on the Rush Club. We're the RV leaders in Minnesota, and Niemeyer Trailer Sales is ready to get you rolling. At Niemeyer Trailer Sales, we're family and building a customer bond since 1965. Our staff is dedicated to finding you the right RV and committed after the sale. We have Rockwood, Arctic Fox, Prowler, and Travelite. We have fifth wheels, travel trailers, campers, super service, and experience. Let us work for you online at Niemeyers.com or visit us in person. You'll see Niemeyers is the place to be. Pro Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you, and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. Newer used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, We'll capture your passion and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. I'm Alex. Welcome to Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Here at Bill's, we're all about safety. Basic to advanced handgun training to personal protection and home defense. Bill's leads the novice to enthusiast in hunting, sport, or range shooting. Bill's Gun Shop offers a combined 120 years of instructor experience and the Midwest's top showroom and gunsmith guidance. 
thousands of products, an expert sales team, and two convenient metro locations. And coming soon to Hudson, you'll find it at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. I've always loved the outdoors. I've always loved the outdoors. I, I love to fish mostly. That's my favorite thing. That's why I was with the bikini ice fishing team and went out there and drilled holes. And then I also, uh, while I fish with my dad a lot up north, so we troll and we catch northerns and walleyes. And I also used to help them in the woods because we live out in the country, so I'm kind of a tomboy like that. My name is Andy Anderson, and yes, it is a boy's name, but my dad was hunting when I was born, so there you go. Bow hunting is extremely a great sport to get into. Um, my dad sells Martin Archery for one of his living, and I remember going up in the woods with him and setting up 3D targets and putting on you know, 3D shoots to, to have families come out and enjoy enjoy nature and not only that, shoot some, shoot some 3D and practice at what they love to do. I'm Teresa. I grew up in the cities and, you know, hunting and fishing and getting out beyond where I've been gr growing up here, you know, I just never had the opportunity or knew anybody to get involved and just over time got to know the right people and before you know it here I'm doing all of it and man you haven't lived until you've gotten out there and gone hunting, gone fishing and seriously got to enjoy the outdoors. I do have a very girly side but then I am very tomboyish at the same time. You know I don't mind helping my dad split wood on the log splitter. I don't mind. I love doing that. It's father-daughter time, which I love for that. I learned how to ice fish this last year because I just moved to Minnesota recently, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Going out there, sitting on the ice all day, and fishing for walleye. Like, first time I ever had walleye. We're used to salmon and trout back home, you know? So, it was great. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I knew that I had to fly airplane. Wow. Today on the Rush Club, we are here at the Air Expo 2012 with a lady who has an absolutely amazing story to share with us. Liz Strofas. Now while most of you are probably sitting at home on your couch, Liz here would rather be 20,000 feet high in the sky. Liz, if you could, just tell us your story here from the beginning. I enjoyed flying, but I didn't even realize that. As a young person, I like to get high and sit on roofs, chimney up a telephone pole, just sort of thing. And so I was working at the local courthouse. There was a fellow that come up to the office to do some filing of papers, and he kept talking about flying. She flying. I could get up there and see the beautiful world God made for us. So he saw I was interested. He wanted a flight. I said, sure. And so he brought me out to the local airport. We went up about 4,000 feet into a stall, into a spin. He looked around at me and I said, one more time? So we went up one more time. After 10 one more times, he didn't look around anymore. He landed that airplane. He didn't look too good. <laughs> Tell us what it was like back in the military as a woman to fly planes. Now we had a, a group of fellas, there were 15 of them in the Sky Club. One of the fellas went into the Air Corps and so then they asked me to be a part of their group. I asked them how much it's going to cost, $100, I never saw $100 in my life. But I heard the banks loan money. I went down to the local banker and I said, Mr. Cowell, I'd like to borrow $100. Miss Wall, what are you going to do with $100? I said, I'm going to fly. Oh, he said, women don't fly. I said, I'm going to. It was just a wonderful time. And then some of the some of the people said, oh, it's really, they treat women really bad when they start doing something like flying. But I never had any trouble with those fellows. They were all just darling to me. I 
heard about this organization called Women's Air Force Service Pilot in down in Sweetwater, Texas. And I knew I wanted to fly military aircraft. You know, those years I wasn't afraid of flying anything. <laughs> where were you stationed? Where, where, where did you get to fly? I flew in training. I flew in Sweetwater, Texas. We were in the class called 44-1. We were the first class to graduate in 1944. It was a wonderful experience. We, we first flew in the uh, PT-19, and that was our primary training. And then we went into the BT-19, and that was a basic trainer. And then we went to the AT-6. Oh, I love that AT-6. I always say I had a kind of love affair with it because I had a farmer friend of mine who had an airplane, and he came down to Texas and he said, now you saw you could fly the airplane. Now come home and get married. I said, no, I don't want her. And he, well, he talked for two days and I said, ah, well, I can go home, get married, because he's got an airplane. Well, I went to see the CEO and I told her I was going to be leaving because I just had my basic training. And she said, Betty, if that's what you want to do, that's your privilege. But she said, before you sign this resignation, I would like you to get a flight in this 86. I got a flight in that 86. And I said, oh, I said, I, I can't come home. And so I didn't go home. He got married. We both lived happily ever after. <laughs> what kind of advice would you have for the men and women today considering an aviation's career or as a pastime? What I say to these young people that are interested in flying, follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. If you have the confidence and the ability, then you should go for it. As long as it isn't illegal, immoral, go for it, right? <laughs> Liz, thank you so much for being here. You have an absolutely incredible story to tell. Here on the Rush Club at the Air Expo 2012, Eden Parade, Minnesota, and we'll see you next time. Follow us at The Rush Club by visiting our website. It's therushclub.com. We'll share upcoming events, our bios, and fun little facts about us. Hey, if you have a story suggestion, it's all at our fingertips, so let us know. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there too. Once again, we're at therushclub.com. What a rush. So that's it for this week. Thanks again to Admiral Dees for having us. Be sure to check out our website at www.therushclub.com. And until next time, have a great weekend. I'm Teresa Petrie, your host. Get out and enjoy the rush.